Hello, my lovelies. So we're going ghost hunting today at a place called Gold Camp Road or Cheyenne Canyon. Uh, it's rumored to be haunted in tunnel number two, so that's where we're headed. I am just me today doing this, so excuse the shaky camera. I have it sitting here in my passenger seat of the truck, and we're gonna try and get you some scenery while we get going up the canyon. So these roads are extremely, extremely narrow. So it's only like one car can pass through at a time. So this was originally a gold mining town. And so all of these were originally for trains. They've since removed the train. And we are now here. So this is tunnel two. says that you can't park inside the tunnel on all the signage. Kind of eerie, honestly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find a pullout and then I'm going to walk back through the tunnel because you can walk through here. And thankfully they do have several of these little pullouts. Here we go, we found one. So I will show you guys what we're looking at here. Now the views in here are pretty darn incredible. So it's a canyon and it is just beautiful up here. So in the lower part, you'll see things like waterfalls. We're gonna try and be smart about this so we don't get hit on this really small little road. But we're gonna walk into tunnel two. And I've brought some of my equipment so we're just gonna see if we happen to capture anything. And I am by myself, that's why I came during the day. These roads are a little sketchy at night. There is no lights up here. So you'd really have to be extremely careful. But it's a cool place. Like if you look up here, there's tons of hiking trails and they just literally go on for miles and miles around here. We're going to be very cautious of cars because this is only one vehicle can pass through here at a time. This is a little ominous looking when you walk up to it. Pretty big tunnel here. I'm going to try and set the camera up to where it's out of the roadway. But we're going to go in like the middle of the tunnel here. It's nice and cool in here. So I'm going to turn on the infrared. I'm going to set up the camera and that way you guys can see me. All right, so I have a brand new device. We have a digital recorder, so we're going to turn that guy on. I also have the mess meter so you can see this guy light up. So currently not detecting anything, which is something that I would expect. We're just in a canyon. So I'm not sure where I'm going to set this. I think what I'm going to do is adjust the camera to where you can see me kind of walk down canyon in the tunnel here and I'm going to turn on the recorder and I will replay this in front of the camera if anything gets captured. I literally hear a pin drop in here at the moment. It's that quiet which is awesome. We're going to see if we capture anything. number two on Gold Camp Road in Colorado Springs, Colorado. There's rumors that this tunnel is 
haunted. So we plan to see if those are moving through. Supposedly there was a bus accident in here and that all of the people, the bus driver, all the children perished. Is that true? Are there any of those souls still here? Stand over here, oh, bicycle. Oh. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna adjust this camera so you can see me kind of walking up here. More bicyclists coming. We're not trying to be in everybody's way. We're just going to walk up here. Oh, the okay, yeah, EMF meter started to blink, so that was kind of cool. And here comes the car, so i got to get out of the way. I think they're doing the same thing. They've got their phone out. <laughs> One more car coming. Ooh, they're playing chicken, it looks like. <laughs> so tight. Yeah, it's so tight over there. Super, super tight squeeze. So we definitely want to make sure we're cautious in here. Because it's dark. There's no lighting in here whatsoever. It's just the natural light from both sides of the tunnel. Another car coming. this direction. I'm going to try and get like right in the middle of the tunnel. So I think that would be the best. Here we go. This will work. stuff that showed up on the EMF. It's quiet for me right now. Can you make this meter light up at all? If there is somebody here in the tunnels, can you make the meter light up? Can you touch it to make the lights light up? Is there anything you'd like to say to anybody? Anybody who may be passed in this tunnel due to an accident of any kind? stories true about the hand prints and the feet prints showing up on people's car windows in here. I don't feel like we're really getting anything. Nothing's really lighting up. I'm not hearing anything. I love that it's nice and quiet when there's not like an actual car coming through here or people. So that's pretty neat. I would say that that's pretty cool. So I'm going to listen to these things back here in just a second, but we're going to go outside of the tunnel just in case we get ourselves in a little bit of trouble. So I'm going to go back to the truck. All right, so as I'm standing here getting ready to walk out of the tunnel, the meter started going. Is there anybody in the tunnel with me right now? literally just blinking it went to the yellow if you look at this nice and close it went to the yellow 
and then it stops. and set it down over here and let's see if we get any reaction. I was literally standing right here, took like two steps and it started to move. Of course not. Right, so I'm gonna try holding this to where you can see it as I walk. That way I can hopefully capture something if it is on there. Checking to make sure, wow, sorry I gotta get my pads done. Just checking to make sure that it's not the recorder and it's not, none of the lights are lighting up. Now they are. I'm just sure you guys can see it too. You know, it's very low tech. We're trying to figure this all out on our own here. Are there any spirits around that wish to make contact at this point? Can you light this meter up in my hand? Can you make the lights turn colors? spirits that are still stuck here in this journey. Is there a loss of mining accidents or a loss of um, train accident type stuff when we were building the roadway? So I'm going to keep walking. I'm going to see if there's anything else. Every time I shut the camera off, that's when things start to actually do something. So I'm going to try and walk down here safely. And when I go back down, I'm going to try and have it set up to where you guys can see, um, see the scenery. Because there's some waterfalls and stuff that are really gorgeous down here. So I want to show you guys all of that stuff. And I imagine this place would be extremely scary in the middle of the night all by yourself. But gorgeous scenery nonetheless. I'm very afraid of heights, but that looks super cool. Pretty neat place, that's for sure. This meter still at green. Back to the truck. All right, so we're gonna start down the road here and see what if anything else we can capture. My phone is in a tripod, so hands free, we're okay. Super narrow passageway here. And I honestly don't know where this road totally goes. Like, I don't know what the end of it actually looks like. So, we're just gonna take our time and enjoy the scenery out the window. There we go. It's a little better.
gorgeous. Wow, let's see if I can zoom in. That's pretty darn cool. Pretty darn cool. Let's see how much more of it we can capture here. You can see like the city line down below, pretty darn neat. I definitely would not want to make this drive in the pitch black in the dark because I think um, just that there's not really like a shoulder off the road like it's literally dirt and if you missed a turn in the dark you're going down a really deep ravine so would not want to go do that plus I have no cell service up here on this thing so you'd have to wait for a passerby to help you quiet up here for the most part. So this was one of the places I was trying to come on Memorial Day that the park said it was at capacity and so it wasn't allowing people to come in and park because it said there wasn't wasn't any room. As you can see things are very tight through here. Thankfully, they're smart and they built plenty of pull-offs. So we're approaching another one of the tunnels. I don't know which tunnel this actually is, though. As you guys can see, there it is. So this is probably tunnel one if that was tunnel two. Oh, it does look like there's a number one up there on the top. So this is tunnel one. And again, these used to be used for train to haul um, the gold and things that they were mining out of here. Energy is different in that one for sure. The other one felt a little eerie. That one just felt real quiet. So I'm not sure what else is up here. But we will find out together. Just outside of Tunnel 1, there is like a parking lot. So if we have to turn around or whatever, we can get out and do that, which is good. Because there's really no other place to do that. Like the road's too narrow to actually just turn around.
this view will be spectacular. And this is why I wouldn't want to go driving down here. Miss a turn, man. You're going to go straight down there and they probably would never find you. Can't imagine how they'd ever get you out of there either. But very, very beautiful. It's pristine. I'm not sure what that thing is. There's like something up here on the hillside right over here. Can't quite get it in the frame. Not sure what that is. Might be part of 